What's going on everyone this is Kedar here and Windows 11 just announced a new preview insider build and the features are really amazing let me tell you. So without further ado let's deep dive into it. So the latest build 22000.120 has lots of fixes as well as improvements ranging from small UI changes to big major upgrades and things like Microsoft Store is also updated. I'm really excited to see the changes so let's get right into it. So the first one is from the widgets and here they introduced a new feature called family safety and you can see it right over here. This feature allows you to see the recent activity from your family members and allows you to you know kind of a limit the usage and other stuff like that. You can filter the content, set the screen time limit, activity reports and you know find your family members. Feature is gonna be very useful for the parents to monitor their kids. Here is the family safety dashboard. You can see I already set it up and you can set bunch of things like content filters. Going into that you can see browsing web safely is essential for your kids. You can do it right over here. Now, obviously this feature is only gonna work when your kids gonna use Microsoft Edge so that's one thing but there is a nice little touch you can monitor and you know kind of a limit what are they watching and what they shouldn't. A detailed touch to it you can see there is a allowed site and block site so you can literally cherry pick your sites of your choice and you know block them by individual manner and that's a really good thing in my opinion. Going into the spending tab, you can now limit the purchase your kids are making. You can also set uh, approval for the purchases. With this update, kids can spend the money from their parents account and purchase apps like from Microsoft and other stuff like that. Next one kind of a useful update for parents. You can track your children's. You can save the frequently accessed places like home, work, school and also there is an option to remove a family member from the group. Next one is from you know Microsoft chat and there will be a badging icon so once you received messages you can see the notification count how much messages have you received. So the great thing about this one you can simply put the email or the phone number of the person that you want to contact and you can simply send the messages right from here. Most importantly this is gonna be text message so you don't necessarily need any Microsoft app to receive the message this is a really cool one. A Microsoft's primary goal over here you can clearly see they want uh, you know more people to get into the teams. Still this is a really neat change especially if you are in a hurry and want to send a message text message to anyone this is gonna be really useful. You can see I get a badge icon once I receive the message and there we go. Here I tested the chat couple of times and it worked really flawlessly let me tell you. I can already see how much useful this feature is gonna be. Next change is coming from a small UI change. When you hover over to a task view, you can see the close button looks like this. Previously it was not flashing red, visibly that looks much better in my opinion. Next change is coming from the display settings and it's really useful. Now you can adjust the night light parameters further. So let me turn it on and going over here, you can see I can adjust the strength of the night light. I can also schedule when it's gonna turn on and off and also there are more things like you can also set the hours moving over to the next one well SDR so if your display supports SDR this feature is gonna be really useful for you SDR stands for high dynamic range which will take advantage of your monitors and give you a brighter more visible vibrant image in general it's gonna be really exciting to see how this feature looks in gaming also watching movies on HDR gonna be really amazing. Here you can enable this option to process the video and you know according to your hardware's ability it will enhance the image. Going into advanced display settings if you have set up multiple monitors and one is not detected you can click on this and detect the undetected display over here. Next feature called snap assist and when you press alter tab and the task view is shown over here like this but with the snap assist the thumbnails of the task view is more neatly arranged. So you know rather than having all the tabs in the same you know sizes this one looks uh, much better organized. I really like this uh, change due to the fact that the actual window size will be reflected over here. So the next change is coming from the Microsoft store and it's a really interesting one. 
you can see now the store looks much alive and there are live previews available so you don't have to click onto the app in order to see the details and you know things like that also it looks much more similar to play store in my opinion everything right from the layout of the images also the buttons and many the interesting things like screenshots, description and ratings like I can't distinguish whether it is Play Store or Microsoft Store. Real, I will honestly use Microsoft Store this time because previously it was not that great and now it's much more improved. Now everyone's favorite questions like whether Android apps are there or not and let me tell you guys it's still not here but I'm really excited when they're gonna launch the android apps in here it's gonna be game changer so i hope you enjoyed the video a lot please do hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and i will catch you in the next one goodbye